And here we go. It is featherweight time between Matt Robo Sales and George Hickman, two Americans going to head to head. You're taking a look at Hickman. The big time wrestling guru taking on this young and up and coming undefeated prodigy in Matt Sales. All under the bright lights of the Nohan Nafal Stadium here in Beirut, Lebanon. Round one is underway. And Matt Sales going for a takedown right out of the gate, trying to take the wrestling teacher off of his feet. May not be the best way to go about things, given the pedigree of George Hickman, why it go into his wheelhouse. Use that striking. Matt Sales has serious striking. Sales is in the white, red, and black trunks, and it'll be in the white with the red trim, Mr. George Hickman. Sales in the tights and Hickman in the Muay Thai shorts. Matt Sales, no surprise, 22 years old, he's going to come out here. Very fiery, going right after it. Initially trying to take Hickman off of his feet. And you know, one thing you got to say about George Hickman is he's in there every day at Tiger Muay Thai. You know, one of the best camps in the world. People make that pilgrimage down to Thailand to work with the best, and that right hand landed. But a nice recovery by Hickman as he grabs a hold of the leg and he's going to turn it into a takedown. And he's now going to possibly take the back. Oh, my goodness, what a turn of events here as George Hickman jumps on the back of Matt Sales and how quickly things can change. Look like Matt Sales is going in for the kill. He landed a big straight right. Tried to swarm in, but Hickman, the wily veteran, jumps right in there and takes the back. Not a good spot for Matt Sales. Alliance MMA, where Matt Robo Sales comes from also. One of the better camps in the world today, located in California. And now just trying to fight off that choke is Matt Sales and George Hickman is relentless with it. Mark Goddard watching very closely. If there's not any sort of action, you better believe he'll stand up right now. It is a fight for position. It looks like he has that locked in. It looks like that is locked in. Can Matt Sales somehow survive that? I don't know if it's underneath the chin. I don't know what it is. He tries to reset, George Hickman does, as he's in a full-on body triangle. And Matt Sales is going to have to really dig deep. Right now, it's just across the face, trying to squeeze his head off like a dandelion. But Matt Sales hanging on somehow, some way. Most men, under that sort of pressure, would be caving in, but there's a reason why that young man is undefeated. And he somehow gets out of that choke, but he is not gonna get Hickman off him that easily. That body triangle still locked in, and now it's the ground and pound. George Hickman trying to pound him into submission. One after another, and the fans are loving it. Straight brutality. Mark Goddard asking if Sales wants to continue. Now he moves to the elbows. Tenacious beatdown here by George Hickman. Proven that age is nothing but a number. What a battle here. Matt Sales looked to be the more fiery of the two, but he tried to go into the wheelhouse of George Hickman. He tried to wrestle with him, and right now he is getting a clinic, an absolute clinic by the man that runs the wrestling program at Tiger Muay Thai. Now if he could pull those legs out and lock in that head and arm choke, good chance he could finish this. But Matt Sales doing the smart thing and rolling over. And now he's gonna give up his back once again. Just trying to stay moving is Matt Sales right now. Possibly trying to wait out the clock as this has been a very, very long four minutes in the life of Matt Robo Sales. Phoenix FC giving us one heck of a card tonight as this is your co-main event of our MMA segment of the show. Remember, in the MMA main event, it'll be 
Davi Ramos taking on Nicholas Piedmont. That's going to be a huge matchup. That'll be your MMA main event. And still to come, we have Bukow in the main event Muay Thai action. The whole world talking about Phoenix FC and talking about landing. Bukow, one of the biggest free agents in the world today. Very hard to get him on a card. And they were able to do that. And that is the end of round number one. And I'll tell you this, Matt Sales in a world of hurt with him, that's going to be a problem. And I say that for a reason. When you take a look at the losses that he did have, you know, he has a few of those where he's been beat down a little bit. He has that KO loss back in 2012 to Stephen Upchurch. I mean, he has taken a few of those. So if there's a hole in this game, it's going to be the striking. And that's what Matt Sales needs to capitalize on. Nice move. Getting out of the grips of George Hickman is Matt Robo Sales. Round number two. Battle raging on here. Phoenix fighting championships here in Beirut, Lebanon. Anytime you match up a young gun like 22-year-old Matt Robo Sales against a guy, 31-year-old George Hickman, who has been up and down the road with some of the best, you know you're going to get a great fight. That's exactly what we're getting right now. Of course, George Hickman making his home in Thailand right now, teaching for Tiger Muay Thai, but he has been all over the globe. He's been in Bangkok, been in Thailand for quite a while. He's fought for Bangkok Fight Night and Kunlun Fight and a number of big shows, Bellator MMA as well, where he pulled off a big win. So you talk about a guy like George Hickman, the bright lights is nothing for him. Whereas Matt Robo Sales has made his living fighting out in California and this is the first real big international show he's ever been a part of. And now he's starting to string together some strikes. Landing some great body shots, changing levels. But George Hickman nearly got him to the ground. Matt Sales being smart, stayed up. You got that height advantage, but it doesn't look like Hickman's going to look to utilize that jab. We know what Hickman's going to do. That being said, that overhand right, which he just teased and missed, is very powerful. He does have power in his hands. Matt Sales moving forward, taking control here in round number two. For the most part, this has been mainly Matt Sales doing work, but now he's going to get into the grips of George Hickman. It's exactly where he does not want to be, up against that fence where Hickman could possibly change levels on him and turn this thing into another grind out wrestling war. And that's not what Matt Robo Sales wants. Even if he doesn't know that, I, I'm telling him that now. I don't know if you can hear me. Matt Sales not looking too worried here as he's had a nice round number two. Possibly evening the odds here, things can continue to go this way. Outside leg kick lands. You're watching Phoenix FC. Two Warriors battling inside of our cage. Showing a little bit of fatigue is Matt Sales. And one thing you are not going to see out of George Hickman, and I think that was a big tell right there, as he's got his mouth open, he's trying to catch his breath, is Matt Robo Sales. George Hickman saw that. If he sees a weakness like that, he's going to attack. Because listen, you come from a wrestling background like George Hickman, Stamina is never going to be a problem. Go to one Division I, heck, one high school wrestling practice, and you're going to see conditioning like no other. That being said, Matt Sales attacking once again with the stand-up. Switch kick to the body. Oh, but a great explosion there by George Hickman. Does Matt Sales try to drag him down to the ground? Give him a taste of his own medicine. Not going to be easy. You see that jockeying in position there, not even giving Sales a chance to do any work. As he tries to isolate those legs, Hickman is not going to give that up. I don't see it. Nearly got the takedown, but not enough. Matt Sales not able to complete that takedown. It is a fight here, a grind out war here in Beirut, Lebanon. As now you see George Hickman 
is on his backside. You can't really call that a full takedown, but what you can call it is a very dominant round for Matt Robo Sales. You know, switching things up and turning the tables on the 31-year-old veteran here on Phoenix FC, just when you think he might be counted out. Wow, what a change of events here. It is a war here in Lebanon as time ticks away. Not much left here in round number two, and it'll be George Hickman having to go back to the drawing boards. And there it is. Way better than he was in round number one. George Hickman has to go into that stamina, has to go into what he does best, go to the gas tank and try to grind out a victory. Matt Sells hasn't really shown us that he has great takedown defense. And I feel like if Hickman goes to, to the ground and shoots for a takedown, which I, I feel like it's only a matter of time here, if he does, Matt Sells is going to have a hard time dealing with him. Round number three, Sales and Hickman, your co-main event. What a Christmas present we're getting here, an early Christmas present as these two continue to battle. There goes those combinations once again. Matt Sales, if he gets inside that range, he can put three or four strikes together, no problem. Circling, stalking is the 22-year-old phenom, nearly smelled blood. Quick recovery by George Hickman. George Hickman throwing a big kick out there, just trying to create some space. If you're in the corner of George Hickman, I mean, what, what do you say to the guy that's the wrestling coach? Obviously, you have MMA coaches that have the full gamut of the game, but George Hickman knows what he has to do. He has to bring this thing down to the ground. And maybe it's just a show of pride trying to stand up with Matt Sales. Maybe that's what it is. But if he continues to do what he's doing, this is not going to be a good night for George Hickman. Matt Sales putting him together, another shot to the body. Big left hook, doesn't quite land. Now Hickman trying to employ a little offense of his own. Can young Matt Sales beat a veteran like George Hickman and advance his career? Can he go to 6-0? A lot of eyes will be on Matt Sales if he can go to 6-0, and especially in a big time event, a premier event like Phoenix FC. Hickman trying to create space. The time is ticking down as we're at the halfway point between these two. And, and Matt Sales, if he can continue to do what he's doing now, trying to push Hickman up against the fence, maybe trying to ice this round. Here we go again, more striking from Matt Sales, mixing up the punches and the kicks. Nice roundhouse to the body. Hickman coming out of the Carolinas, place I know very well. A real tough crop of fighters, great pro fighters and pro boxers that have come out of that area and a growing region. It's produced some really tough guys and we know what California is all about. George Hickman with that big right hand snaps it out there real quick. Now seems that he's really developing that striking. Now the striking seems to be on point for George Hickman. Even Sales a little taste of his medicine. Showing off that gas tank. That being said, here comes Sales, big right hand. Matt Sales seems to be in control here, holding on to the center of the cage. Can he keep the combinations coming? Punches and kicks moving forward. Matt Sales giving us a little bit of what we saw in round two and more. Real fluid striking from the young man from California. Walking right into some jabs from George Hickman. Trying to get it within that range. Got to take a few to give a few. What a tightly contested fight. This one is going to be razor thin. I see Sales ahead right now. Sales doing everything he needs to. George Hickman not going away though, but not giving us any sort of indication that he's gonna take this round. There's a big right hand. Hickman nearly landed that one, two. 
Hickman still possibly a little bit more, more energy in the body of George Hickman. Flying knee just misses from Matt Sales, looking for the knockout knee. He charges forward. Very, very active is Matt Robo Sales. Is it going to be enough? And here comes George Hickman trying to pick that ankle. But right up against the fence is Matt Sales. Great takedown defense for the young man, only 22 years old. Looking like a tried and true veteran in here with Hickman. What's it going to be for the co-main event here at Phoenix FC? Ten seconds left in this one. Who's going to finish strong? Is it going to be George Hickman? Is it going to be Matt Robo Sales? Time's ticking away, and that is it. A very well fought fight. Gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, and we have a split decision in favor of your winner from the USA, George Hickman. And it's George Hickman, the veteran, taking on the victory. And wow. That one was close, but you can't really go wrong with either fighter. They both gave everything. I think it was the third round that was super tight.